Hey, welcome to our project. For our project, we made a video. It's on Alfred Tarski, a Polish mathematician. He's not with us anymore. What he brought to math was. Anyways, check it out. Alfred Tarski was born on January 14, 1901, in Warsaw, when it was within the Russian Empire. He was born to Polish parents and had a family name of Teitelbaum until 1923, when he changed it to Tarski. He was a very bright child. Alfred Tarski was first recognized for his mathematical abilities when he attended a Warsaw secondary school named Zakola Mazowajka. He originally attended the University of Warsaw in 1918, intending on studying biology. When Poland regained its independence in 1918, the University of Warsaw came under the leadership of Wachlaw Serpinski, Stanislaw Lanuski. and a guy whose name we cannot pronounce. They made the school into an institution with world-leading research in logic, foundational mathematics, and the philosophy of mathematics. Alfred's mentor was Stanislaw Lesniewski, a mathematics professor at the university. Stanislaw recognized Tarski's potential as a mathematician and convinced him to abandon biology and instead study mathematics and logic. Under his teachings, he graduated from the university with a doctoral degree in 1924. Tarski became the only student to earn a doctoral degree under Lesniewski. Tarski, when he was 19 years old, wrote a paper on set theory, a subject he did not return to until later in his life. In 1924, he worked with Stefan Bonnock to create the tarski bonnock paradox. Okay, so the idea here is that we have, we take this 32 dot circle and we make four groups of eight. So Tamulin's doing that now, he's drawing arrows to the eight dot group. Now he will take two of the eight dot groups, which are supposed to have eight dots in them. doesn't say that right now, but think as eight dots of this 32 dot circle. The idea of the paradox is that with the 16 dots, you can take it, you can take the 16 dots and you can draw it into a circle that's supposedly the same size as this circle with 16 dots. You can do two of them. So the paradox says that this 32 dot circle will when split into eight dots according to the paradox, as this is just a demonstration, and put into 16 dot groups, that it can be made of two balls or two circles of the same size that are original to this. Not halflings, or like not half of the circle, but half. That's why it's called a paradox. It may make sense, but also doesn't make sense. That's how it's made. Mathematicians apply the paradox in order to explore the interaction between physical reality and mathematics as purists. What Alfred Tarski was most known for was for his theory of truth. Now the idea of the theory of truth was that A is true if and only A is true. That applies to everything and <coughs> it may sound very simple, but yes, you're right. It is very simple. But that's the theory of truth made by Alfred Tarski. In 1929, Tarski married a fellow teacher, Maria Witkowska, a Pole of Catholic descent. They had two children, a son, Jan, who became a physicist, and the daughter, Ina, who married the mathematician, Andre Edenfeuch. Alfred Tarski attempted several teaching positions for jobs around Poland but failed. 
His association with the Unity of Science movement allowed him to be invited to speak at the Unity of Science Congress that took place at Harvard University within the United States of America. He left on the last boat trip from Poland to the United States in 1939. Alfred didn't want to because Lesniewski died a few months before, but Lesniewski left a position at the Congress Tarski was hoping to fill. Tarski was oblivious to the Nazi threat and the eventual outbreak of World War II, so he left his wife and children behind in Poland and could not see them again until 1946 because he was held in the country when the war broke. The war killed most of his extended family due to the Nazi occupation of Poland. Throughout the years, Tarski held several temporary teaching and research positions such as Harvard University, the City College of New York, and thanks to the Guggenheim Fellowship, the Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton. In 1942, Tarski acquired his first permanent job when he joined the mathematics department at the University of California, Berkeley, where he spent the rest of his career. Unfortunately, Alfred died on October 26, 1983 in Berkeley, California at age 82. His contributions to math such as the Banach-Tarski Paradox and the Theorem of Truth led him to be called one of the greatest mathematicians of the 20th century. Oh my gosh, here's, here's the problem. Because he is recording. So instead, I'm going to dance. Okay, let's go. Where, where are we following you? Wait, where are we following you? Okay, where well, are are anyways. So on negation. A is true, and only if A is not true, what the bloody... Alright, that is not it. That is A negation. Alright, so the theory of... Okay, this is not the actual thing. Hey, yo, chill, look at this. Better learn this now. Y'all gonna end up on the streets. Hey, poor mother... Hey, turn that camera off, son. <laughs> I can't sing. Alfred's mentor was Stanislaw Lenuski, a mathematics professor at the university. I'll read it. I'll read it. What's this? <laughs> 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 oh, we still have it. What? <laughs> you have just invented it. Oh, no, right. <laughs> I'm like, oh, wait.